Hi and uh, welcome back. Um, in this video we're going to have a look at setting up uh, Wi Throttle within JMRI. Um, this is to allow you to um, connect a mobile phone, tablet, etc., to um, your layout and control loco, etc. Uh, basically, you're going to need a couple of things. Uh, first of all, you need to set it up within um, JMRI itself. Let me just um, get rid of these windows because we don't need these up. So um, basically within um, the preferences, if you go in there, you need the settings for Y throttle. Uh, and basically the one you need to uh, change is this one here, start automatically with the application. Uh, that'll be unticked. Um, so put tick in the box, click on save, um, JMRI will ask you to uh, restart. Uh, once um, JMRI um, restarts, comes back up again, this window here will pop up as well. Um, this is the Wi Fi server, which is a little bit of software that's basically looking for any mobile devices that um, want to connect to it. Um, but on your mobile device, uh, your phone, or whatever. Um, download the, the app for Y Throttle. Um, on the App Store, I found two uh, Y Throttle Lite and the paid for version. I think the paid for one was $9.99 and comes with a few more features, different things that you can do. Um, the, the Lite version, the freebie one, allows you to control a, um, a loco, um, which is what I opted for just to give it a try out and see what it was like. Um, if um, on Y Throttle it doesn't have the IP address details, you're going to need to go and find those so you can type it into the app. Um, a way to do that is if you bring up a terminal window, um, certainly within Linux or within Mac, use terminal. Um, if you're on a Windows PC, use the command prompt. Um, uh, and basically, what you need to do is type in ifconfig like so, and hit return. If you're on a Windows PC, it will need to be IP config. And then basically it'll come back with some information uh, on your network settings, uh, like this. Basically what you're looking for is an IP address, which is what this is here. Uh, basically set, if you're not uh, used to them, it's a set of four numbers, um, separated by periods, four stops, whatever you want to call them. Um, and that is what you're going to need to put into the app once it's installed on your device. Um, what I'll do is if I bring up um, the camera on uh, my device, I'll just um, open it back up again. Um, hopefully you can see it's a little bit grainy, but here is the Wi Throttle light. If I click on that to open it up, it will come up and ask you to configure so you can connect to. Um, the Wi Throttle server. Uh, if you click on configure, this is where you need to type in the IP address. Uh, once you've done that, it should remember it, so it sh you shouldn't have to do it again. You just need to click on connect, and then hopefully, yeah, it's coming up something different this time. Um, I'm going to select that and set. There we go. So um, if you haven't put a local in already, if you go to addresses, which is what I'm on already, um, it'll be on keypad. Just type in um, the ID for your loco, in my case 734, um, and then set, and then um, it'll connect to the Wi Fi server. And if we look back onto um, the GMRI side of things, you should now see that the phone or uh, whatever device you're using is connected. So you can see my phone there. The address that I'm using uh, for the loco and what it recognizes when the roster ID to do with that. So, as you can see, it's my um, A1 Terrier. So, that all seems to be good. So, if you go back to the, the app and then I'll bring it in a little bit, if you go across to here where you've got the throttle, um, you've got a nice little uh, window that pops up. Um, I quite like this slider along here for the speed controller. I think that's pretty good. 
Um, and then you've got a few functions that you can use. You haven't got the full range. Uh, but for um, getting into sort of um, places on the layout where, if you're like me, if you've got a um, controller that's um, got a cord on it, it's not a Wi-Fi one, um, this can be really handy because um, sometimes the, the cords just don't reach or they won't stretch far enough. So this is a nice little system. Um, so it's, it's green, so it's ready to go. So if I click on bell, hopefully in the background you can hear my loco. Um, don't know if the horn will work. Should be the whistle. Yeah, it does. Um, so what I'll do is I'll set, it's in forward uh, already. If I wanted to go reverse, just tap on reverse. Uh, we'll go forward though and then slide this up to whatever speed you want and um, off she goes. So uh, we'll just let that come round. So yeah, not too complicated to set up, so quite a nice little system. Uh, I think I should certainly be using it, especially um, in places where I can't get with the, the other controller. It's to, I think it'll be, um, be ideal. So um, yeah, hope that proves helpful and I'll um, see you in the next video. Until then, see you later.